Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to take a look at some changes being made to a Japanese product. This is interesting and it's kind of a shocker that, that they haven't done anything until this point. Uh, in English, we have the, the at least the wrap that has the Pokeballs on it currently. In Japan, it's just clear wrap or it has been just clear wrap uh, and a box that doesn't really show any evidence of tampering, uh, regardless of, of how it's open. A uh, little bit dangerous, could be a little bit to do with the uh, the Japanese culture and, and them being more trusting. But uh, we've seen some, some recent mishaps, especially with the uh, Japanese Evolving Skies, that uh, there's, there's definitely some issues. We'll take a look at that later on. Um, but uh, first up, Poke Guardian. We're going to go through the article here. We have uh, Japanese booster boxes have changed how they open, most likely as a direct response to resale boxes. So it's a little bit weird that they don't just use like a, a tamper-proof sticker or something like that, or that they, they haven't in the past, and some sort of identifiable wrap. Like it's not, it's not, I can't imagine it's that expensive per box to add. Uh, maybe the cost overall is significantly more, but you would think that um, product that's selling for as much as it is, if you're going to wrap that much of it, that you could pretty easily get, uh, as a company, as the Pokemon company, get some wrap with the Pokeballs on it, Pokemon logos, whatever you want to put on it, uh, to confirm that the wrap itself is the real wrap. Preferably the, the marked stuff that uh, it'll show wear and tear. Not 100%. None of this is 100% going to make a box safe in any way, but every security measure definitely helps. And, uh, Zero security measures, pretty much at uh, at the point of uh, Japanese boxes prior to prior to this happening. So now at least we got the pull tab. I don't know how difficult uh, this piece is to remove from the front of the box without causing damage, but at least it's something. At least it's not just a rewrap with clear wrap in order to 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 rip and dip people. Alright, so there will be a modification in the booster box features of some expansion pack sets that will be released after the end of September. Creatures Inc. has announced they have stated that, in contrast to the conventional booster box, the new box's design will allow it to open along the dotted line via a tearaway strip. Which is, I don't know if that would, would that be less or more expensive? I guess it's more environmentally friendly than having like a, a little plastic sticker, like a void sticker. This is probably a direct response to the increasing secondary market entry of resealed booster boxes, particularly with EV Heroes that has been very popular on the secondary market. On social media, we have seen instances of Japanese collectors discovering they had bought resealed boxes they had bought from marketplaces. With this updated design, that was probably mostly one person that did that. I'm not sure if anyone traced it back to exactly who it is yet, but... Uh, if anyone knows the source of that, uh, please reach out, or if there's been any updates. With this updated design, it will be obvious if a booster box has been open. What do you think of these booster box design modifications? Let us know. We can see the new, new design in the pictures below. Old box design, new box design. So I guess we can open like a new tab. Give us a better look. So yeah, it's just a perforated thing. I think this is a good step. Uh, I think more security measures, the better. I mean, without going completely overboard to the point that you have to, you know, absolutely get some pliers out to get into your box. It doesn't need an acrylic acrylic box or anything like that. But I think they should change the wrap as well. I think it would make a lot of sense. We have an article on Poke Beach as well, so we'll read through this one. Probably saying a lot of the same stuff. We have, starting in September, Japanese booster boxes will feature a new tamper-proof design. To open one, you'll need to tear a perforated line along the top of the box, uh, front of the box. Previously, you simply lifted the flap to open one. This new method will damage the box to make it obvious when it's been open. I'm assuming the bottom probably has that like interwoven kind of thing that if you're pulling at that, it would show as well. I have boxes here. I'll have to take a look after the after the video here. This is no doubt a countermeasure by Pokemon to combat the increasing number of resealed booster boxes making it to the secondary market. In recent years, there have been numerous reports of Japanese fans opening booster boxes only to find that the booster packs contain no chase cards. This is because members of Team Rocket are filling the boxes with tampered packs and reselling them. Yeah, so they're removing all the hits essentially. Um, so you get a bunch of really crappy packs. Uh, and if it was a store that was selling them as individual packs, Maybe they don't notice, 
uh, that their customers are not getting anything. But uh, but yeah, they they took all the good stuff out uh, as we've seen and filled it with filled it with junk or just left the junk packs in there. As we reported last year, Japanese stores began to remove the shrink wrap from boxes at the point of sale to make it obvious the box was now out in the wild. This way, fans would be discouraged from buying an open box on the secondary market because they wouldn't know if it had been tampered with. That decision proved to be effective, although it upset some fans who wanted to keep sealed boxes in their collection. This new design solves both issues. No word yet if a similar change will come overseas. So I think at this point, unless we like can trace back exactly where all of them came from, uh, there's a lot of like the, the EV hero stuff is very risky. Um, I don't think there was any major difference in the, the wrap itself on the box. Um, you could definitely tell that the, the packs were resealed uh, once the, the box itself was opened. But it's kind of a shame that uh, people are kind of ruining, ruining sealed product for people. Um, whether they want to open it later or keep it sealed or whatever. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet, and I'll try to put a link to all of three of these in the description, um, the both articles from Poga Guardian, Poga Beach, and uh, the video here. Uh, this is TCA Gaming. Rusty, you should all be aware of who he is. You should be watching his stuff. He has a, a video on it, and he's going to go through um, exactly what you should be looking for with these resealed boxes. Hopefully... Um, if you're holding on to some of these, these aren't uh, the same ones, but uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is a good watch if you're if you're concerned about about that stuff. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you join the Discord, and I will see you next time. Bye.